Okay, in this video we're going to pick up where we left off in the first video when we uh, downloaded and installed the software. And at the end of that video we ran the software and Xmine opened up in the state that you see it in right now. So we're just going to close this because we're actually going to be covering all this, that box, or in the next video or so. So let's just take a quick tour of what we have here, okay? You have a file and under your file menu you have new you can add a new map, a new blank map, and all different options that you have there. And you have help if you need help. But there's actually more information on here. And then over here in this section, the outline, this will show an outline of your actual map itself. So it'll be broken down into branches. And you'll see all that once we get into uh, building our first mind map. Okay? And I'll reference this as we go along through it. And then down here you have properties and the properties this gives you where you can change the font you don't see it now because we don't have a map up so that's why you don't see all that information but you'll be able to change the font the colors and uh, the size of the font and justify and things like that and then you have this tab to the right of it is your markers okay and these are markers that we're going to be using also in the course I'm going to show you how to insert those so that is basically a quick tour of XMind. When you first open it, there's nothing really going on. Um, but once we get into it, you'll see that there is a lot of tools that you can use. And there's one more thing that I wanted to show you that XMind actually has a an internal browser. Okay, so you can actually search the web right within your. Uh oh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Having some problems, I guess. Let's try that again. Dot com okay there it is let me stretch this out some so there we go so that's a quick tour like I said uh, right over here on the left side there's a little globe and you click that and it, you can actually open a browser so it's really resourceful when you're like looking up information and you're building your outline and you need to reference something you can come to Google or wherever you want to go to your favorite site and get the information that you want and add it to your presentation or your outline okay so in the next video we're going to get started we're going to get our hands dirty get in there and start building our first our first mind map all right it's going to be fun it's going to be really really fun and really really easy so i think you're going to enjoy it so i'll see you in the next video